What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Holiday World in Dallas, Texas, taking a look at this absolutely gorgeous Keystone Avalanche. Now, this thing is really cool and according to a gentleman you're about to meet, it is one of their more popular units, especially on uh, his YouTube channel. So in front of me, I got my good friend Miles. Miles is one of their uh, sales representatives out here and he's got a really awesome YouTube channel where you've probably featured this unit already, correct? I have. I, this unit is so popular, I've actually made three videos of this one. But when you go to my page, Miles RVs, this will actually be the 2021 model. This will be the very first video you see. It's by far my most popular video. And this unit here has been over the past year, probably the most popular RV in the entire country. It's one of those ones where the only people that have even had the opportunity to purchase these are people that have been willing to put a deposit on them before they even arrive because they are just that popular and that in demand. Wow, so this one could very well be sold already, right? This one is actually already, well, this one in particular is reserved for our Dallas RV show that'll be at the end of the month so that okay. we can take it to that show. But we do have other ones that already have deposits on them coming in. Um, so it's, it's kind of one of those crazy units where it's just a little bit more difficult to see. And so I'm really glad we have the opportunity actually yeah. right now to make the video on it because they're not here often to be able to do something like this. Well, that's awesome, man. Guys, check out his channel. Of course, let's take a closer look at this unit, starting with the numbers. Hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, so this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,500 pounds. It's gonna have twin 7,000 pound axles. It's gonna ride on G-rated tires, I like that. It's gonna have a cargo capacity of 2,170 pounds. So the dry weight on this unit's 14,270 pounds. Of course, that's before you fill up the propane tanks, throw batteries and everything in the front of this. And whenever everything's said and done, a unit this size is likely gonna be transferring close to 3,000 pounds to the back of your vehicle. This to me is dually towable. I would not put this behind a three quarter ton or a one ton truck. You could probably get away with some single rear wheel one ton trucks if you have the payload capacity for it. But when everything is said and done with people, family, everything in the truck, the hitch in the bed, your supplies, you're gonna be close to 4,000 pounds or more on the back of your truck. So let's take a look at the inside of this unit and then we'll come back out. So this is the Keystone Avalanche 390 DS with the polar package. This is also gonna have 400 watts worth of solar on it. So it's got it two 200 watt panels on right. it. Yep, and then that 400 watt package also comes with the inverter in the pass-through storage, if I'm correct. This is actually the very first time I've seen one come in with a 400 watt package from the factory. So we'll get a first chance to look at that and see what that all entails yeah. as well. Let's take a look at the price on this unit. This has an MSRP of $120,343. Honestly, that MSRP is a little lower than I thought it would be. Yeah, so yeah, this here is going to be right around that ninety dollars to $100,000 price range for what this is. And it's a big 43 foot fifth wheel with 100 inch wide body construction and six foot 10 inch slide out boxes. So everything about this is a very big, big RV. <laughs> very appropriate for a big yeah. truck, big RV. Exactly. We got our Samsung French door refrigerator right here. Have our three burner stove along with the drawer. So this is kind of cool. They're separate, but they put this little stainless steel drawer underneath it to kind of make it all look like one residential unit, which is nice. Does not look like it's a convection microwave, but it does have a full size microwave. You have your cabinets up top and around. Very nice. They are all soft closing cabinets. Yep, and that's something that's brand new for 2022 as well, because it was not like that on the 2021 model. That's nice. Then in here, not slow closing drawers, but they're still nice. This is going to be a trash can location, double trash can. Under here you have some storage under the sink. This has my favorite, a dual basin stainless steel sink. So, so this is kind of cool because it's kind of the perfect blend between a single basin sink and a dual basin sink. So he likes the larger single basin sink. I like the dual basin and this gives you the best of both. Exactly. This is much larger. my most preferred setup right here without yeah. a doubt. Nice upgraded faucet right here. Same one we have in our Brookstone. Got a nice large TV here. Looks to be 55 inch TV maybe? I believe it's about a, I know it's at least a 50 50 inch. or 50, yeah, yeah it's a big I'm TV. I'm always confused with the TV sizes though. <laughs> yep, you got your panoramic fireplace down here. Got your Jensen entertainment system as well as some really large cabinets up top. Yep. Panning around, you got your ceiling fan. Nice lighting fixtures as well. I like this whole hutch. This is really, really cool. And there's a great spot right there in the corner for uh, coffee station. Coffee station, <laughs> right? Of course. 
You got your entertainment seating right here, theater seating. You got your power. And then you also have a USB jack right here so you can keep your phone or your iPad charged whenever you're sitting down enjoying the show. You got your full stand-up dinette right here with four seats. I like the fact that there's no post coming down in the middle either. It's all braced around the wall there with that bracket, which is really nice. Nice balances. I like the blackout blinds as well. Big plus for me, especially if you're, you know, at night, you don't want people to see in your RV. Very nice. I like the contrasting tones as well. The mixtures of mild tones mixed with darker tones, lighter tones, darker tones. It really looks nice. And it's just a blend of different tones in different areas, which also looks nice. So what do we got going on over here? So, okay, this is the absolute coolest thing about this fifth wheel right here. And I have to get up here to show you what this really offers you. So this is going to be your loft. And as I get up here, this loft is nearly nine feet long and 33 inches tall. So you can see even me being about 6'1", I can almost fully sit up. If you're like under six feet or right around five, eight, five, nine, you can fully sit up in this loft. And there's just so much room up here. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm, you could fit six kids up here. It's you probably can't hear him that well. That's how yeah, far away from yeah, me he is right now. This is so insane. You can fully, I like this too. You can crawl around on all fours without your back hitting the top of the loft as well. A lot of room up here. It's awesome. Kids absolutely love it when they get the chance to see it in person. And you have things like TV hookups back here. You have shelving space to put things up here as well. And all the windows all the way around mm -hmm. for just an awesome view as well. I'm going to get some hate here, but I'm going to say it. This qualifies to me as a two-story RV. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, this is crazy big. All right, I'll let him worm his way back. Yeah. Very, very cool. And... It all overlooks this area. So if you're sitting down right here, parents, and you feel Legos hitting you in the head, they're probably coming from up there. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's take a look inside of this space here, which is a full bedroom. So this is really cool. And this isn't even the master bedroom. This is like a secondary mother-in-law suite, maybe. Very, very nice. Queen size bed, plenty of room on each side of it. I like the nightstands on each side. Yeah, too, Tall yeah, slides light. too. And if you could step in here for me real yep. quick, I want to demonstrate something. How tall are you? So with these shoes on, I'm probably about 6'2 right now. And yeah, you can see I still have ceiling still back here. Still has headroom, yep. So what they do with this fifth wheel is they actually drop the frame under where we're standing, which gives you the height here to have this bedroom space and that loft. So this well. has dual drop frames, one yep. up front and one back Perfect. here. We'll show you that once we get outside. Lots of storage, lots of drawers, lots of cabinetry. Yep. Same thing here as well. Very, very cool. What I would love to know is how this area cools down with the air conditioner being above it so, over yeah, the loft. That's one of the interesting things about it. I mean, you do have the vents in here. Um, so far, I have not heard from a single customer that has purchased this RV about this area not being able to cool down. But one thing we've also done here in Texas as well, just to help with that as well, is we're ordering all of these with three ACs on them. So yeah. you'd have three ACs on this unit instead of two, which is a big addition as well. Absolutely. Okay, taking a look inside of your second full bath. You got a full shower in here, your own entry exit, as well as your own vanity, mirror, medicine cabinet, under cabinet, and porcelain foot flush toilet. That is awesome. I mean, this is really, really an amazing interior. Just think about it. If you think about sleeping accommodations, let's just factor two right here. You could put four kids upstairs yeah. easily. Oh, yeah. Four sure. kids up there, so you have six. And then in here, well, you can almost lay these flat, so I'm going to qualify those as possible sleeping locations. So 7, 8, 9, 10, roughly. If you got a bunch of small kids, you could throw even more of them up there. Yeah, definitely. So. Yeah, that loft is definitely the biggest attraction to this. When kids see that loft area, they've never seen anything else that big before yeah. ever in a loft. So they get really, really excited about that. You know, the only time I've seen a loft that big were in destination-style RVs. Yes. That's yeah. the only time you see lofts that size, and typically yeah. they're split. Yeah. You have a staircase going up the center. Yeah, that's, that's crazy really to cool. see on an actual towable fifth wheel. All right, so let's work our way all the way up here to the front. I like how they have this really cool glass door covering all your controls. All right, let's close that up real quick. Step into the bathroom. This is the main bathroom. You can tell by the one-piece shower stall, very nice. And you have your very nice porcelain it's not porcelain it's plastic it kind of feels like porcelain though you have your medicine cabinet up here you have some really narrow storage here that could easily hold towels and toiletries though so that's nice plus you have some more storage underneath here porcelain foot flush toilet and then you have your skylight over here and your vent up here 
working our way out of the bathroom into the master bedroom where you get the king size bed. Still get the nightstands at the end, which I really like. Have your air conditioning unit up here. Everything is ducted at the same time, which is also nice. Nice valances, nice headboard over here. It looks like it might be enough room for a CPAP. Yep, and you do have a plug right underneath here as well, so your plug is gonna be right under that shelving right there Great. for your plugs there. Very nice. Very nice front trimmed off area with sliding glass mirror doors. Looking inside here, this is a huge front closet area. And you have your washer and dryer connections right there. Plus, does this flip up? It, it sure does looks flip like up. it does. Yeah. Flips back. Well, that's a great storage location too for all sorts of cool items. Even uh, some of your pew pew items. <laughs> nice blackout shade in here. Place for your TV. You got your four drawers right here. Five drawers right here, sorry. My math is not working for me today. Let open. You see how deep those are there. Yep. You got your cable satellite hookups up here as well. Very, very cool. Let's take a look at the outside of this unit. See, the perk of working with a rep is the fact he can bring a power box out yeah. and light everything power up. Yeah. So we have the front road armor pin box, Rotoflex pin box, Kurt pin box, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty much the same thing. This rotates around that rubber bushing. Underneath, you got storage up here. This is where you would have your generator prep. You got all your hydraulic systems right here. And then you have your sine wave inverter back there and your solar prep over here. All right, coming around this way. You have your dual battery box right here. And then you got your pass-through storage. So one of the reasons why your pass-through storage is so large is because this does ride on a drop frame. Now it is an eight inch I-beam drop frame. I generally prefer a 10 inch, but at the same time, Keystone uses the same drop frame technology on their Montanas, on their Alpines, and I've never really heard of an issue with an eight inch I-beam drop frame. I just prefer a 10 inch, might be the engineer in me. Looking inside of this huge storage, this is an enormous storage. It's probably all of three feet tall, maybe even more than that. This front area is probably four feet wide. The back area over there is probably about three feet wide. Huge, huge pass-through storage. It's prepped for your Furion side view cameras as well, outside of your furnace. I like it that they're using this more textured skirting now too. Looks really nice. Have your Lippert solid steps on this unit. All frameless windows, very indicative of Avalanche. Plus you have the awning right here on the slide and the awning right here. So you get a lot of awning coverage when your slides are out. Coming back here, this has the road armor suspension with the upgraded thicker shackle straps and greasable wet bolts. That's a very good suspension setup. Tires on this unit are high spec G rated tires. I'm glad they're a G rated tire. I don't know much about the high spec brand. I know they've been around for a while. I've seen them on quite a few RVs, but I just like the fact that they're at least putting a G rated tire on them. Again, this is all gonna be frameless windows for that back loft area as well as the back bedroom area. You have your full walk on roof. I like that it has a collapsible ladder as well. So it sits flush against the roof, all LED lighting. There's no bumper back here, and probably one of the reasons for it is because this back end also rides on a drop frame, which you can see right there. You can see how they taper it up at the end here so you get a little bit more ground clearance if you're going over bumps. Um, and if you had a bumper back here, it would just be another thing that would drag possibly. That would be the only thing that concerns me about a unit this big. You definitely want to be careful with your entry and exit approach. Definitely, yeah, and that's why they do taper off that tail end there, but you do have to be aware that you do have that frame dropping down underneath there when you're towing in different conditions and different terrain and things like that. Exactly. Then on this side, you can see your really awkwardly shaped slide with a Schwintech mechanism. But yeah, this is part of the, uh, essentially the headrest for the bedroom that's in here, which is pretty much the same type of slide you typically see on the front of a fifth wheel. Sewer connections down here. Again, your frame, you can see that eight inch I-beam frame attached to a 12 inch main beam. And this has the equalizer auto leveling system on it. Coming around. This right here is gonna be above your microwave on the inside. You're definitely gonna to wanna, to, well, on this unit, it actually stays open. It just has flaps to cover it. Yep. But on a lot of travel trailers, they don't. You have to actually pop it open on the inside. Otherwise, you're just recirculating <laughs> yeah, that yeah, air inside. Yeah. Outside of your water heater, here's your wet bay. See your shower and everything right here. And it has the key TV, which you want to take a second. Yeah, so what key again? TV is, especially in a fifth wheel like this, where you may set up multiple different TVs in there. Key TV, first of all, they have the wiring already pre-wired to the 
roof if you want to install the satellite so that wiring job is already done you don't have to incur the cost for that and then in addition to that you also have that control panel there and every tv mount place has that key tv panel where it's just a plug and play method so you can actually get if you have your own cable box for each tv get your own individual channels in each room as yeah, well it's very cool close that off and then in here is the other side of your pass-through storage i like how they give you a separate wet bay from that which is really nice and then over here is where you would have your two 30 pound propane cans. I like that they put them all on the same side in the same area. It makes it a lot easier to service them and to really just switch to know which one you need to turn on or off depending on you know how much propane you're using. Behind this panel right here is gonna be your auto leveling controls. Very, very cool unit. I can absolutely see why this is a hit. And you know, especially if you bring your kids out while you're RV shopping, you're taking a big risk because your kids will tell you what they like and ultimately that's what you're probably gonna end up liking. But this is such a really cool floor plan. It's a huge fifth wheel. Definitely, in my opinion, dually towable. Again, you could get away with some single rear wheel trucks, but you'd have to be very careful with your payload capacity. But um, real quick, you wanna plug your channel real quick? Yeah, again, it's Miles RVs. That's Miles spelled with a Y. And yeah, been on YouTube for about two years now. And Big Truck, Big RVs was one of the very first channels that I followed when I got into this industry. I wanted to learn more about RVs. So it's really cool now to be here together and get to make videos together and give them out to y'all so that you can see the different stuff that we have out here to offer. Yeah, I totally agree. Really, really appreciate you having me out today to take a look at this really awesome avalanche. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to both of our channels, give us both thumbs up, and we look forward to talking to you again. We'll talk to you again soon.